hello, hello, and welcome to the very, very belated 100 subscriber special. I am doing a build today to celebrate hitting 100 subscribers on YouTube. Of course, now it's more like 200 and something, so thank you all for that. I'm sorry about the wait. I was submitting my master's thesis, so life got a little bit busy, but it's still exciting nonetheless. What I'm doing today is a pack restricted build, so I'm using only Discover University and the base game, and I'm building in Brightchester on this lot here called Honeydew Fields. My goal is to rebuild some of the townhouses that you see in the background of this world, so I use them as a reference. These buildings have a sort of cream colored stone as the first floor, and then a red brick as the top floor, and they have a really unique roof line using half walls. The roof is also curved, which is interesting, and it's all the way down to the lowest sort of height that you can do, like a medium low height. And then on the sides, I also did half walls to cover up in a descending fashion the edge of that roof. I think it turned out pretty well. I had to copy it onto the other side and unfortunately I had to just redo it, which was a little bit tedious. And also I messed it up a bit, but <laughs> that's okay. It ends up being even in the end, so don't worry. Basically, to get the inspiration for this build, I just went into the tab mode and flew around until I found a building that I enjoyed and then I wanted to recreate it exactly. That's sometimes a really good idea if you are unsure of how to fit in a build style for a particular world in The Sims 4. Just take a look around the environment and try to recreate something that you see. I'm adding a little basement here because some of the reference photos that I had little, had little basements down there where you could put a little window on it or whatever. It didn't end up working out so it just becomes a garden at the end, but that's what I started with. Now I'm just doing the layout. I, I took the layout from a traditional sort of red brick British home because that's what Brightchester is based off of. So it's pretty simple. It starts with that sort of interior walkway with the stairs in it and then to the left is the living room and then you've got the dining room and the kitchen on the first floor. And then the second floor is two bedrooms and one bathroom. This is going to be university housing so I'm picturing two students probably in their first year living here together as roommates. I originally made the kitchen very traditional and old school using the base game counters because we are quite limited in what kind of counters we can use when we only have the base game, unfortunately. Discovery University did not come with a set of counters, which was unfortunate, so I had to work with what I had. This does change eventually because I had a vision of a remodel, even though this is a really old building. I also just wanted to say a huge thank you not only to all my YouTube people, but to everyone who is following me over on Twitch. We actually reached affiliate recently, which was really exciting. So now I have follower only emotes, subscriber only emotes, ad free viewing for subscribers, a bunch of other cool stuff like that. And it's been really, really fun. I still stream three times a week over there. So Tuesday, Saturday, Sunday, I will post my schedule on there if you ever want to come check us out. It's really fun. I post all my streams here on YouTube as well. 
if you need to catch up on them for whatever reason. But it's been a lot of fun and being in the chat is really fun and I appreciate each and every one of you that might be on both platforms. So this is what I mean when I remodeled the kitchen. Basically what I was picturing in my mind was some millennial dream home decorator-esque person came in here and said, you know what? We're gonna take this heritage home and we are going to gut it and modernize it completely using millennial gray. So they made an exposed brick sort of whitewashed backsplash situation to match the outside. All the walls are either gray or white, so the whole thing's in gray scale. They got the classic sort of black tile for the kitchen and the bathroom, and then a very, very classic millennial gray laminate flooring. Very common in modern renovations over the last 10 years, I would say. Maybe a little less, but you go into any university housing and they've always been remodeled like this. So that's what I love about it. It's that it's this old, old building and then they've done the landlord special on it and just completely made it so soulless and lifeless that the students who are living here had to revamp it, revamp it with life through posters and other personal touches like that, which you'll see when I get into the furnishing. Out the back, there are windows. There's actually four windows, two on the top floor and two on the bottom floor. And I took that inspiration from the back of said debug houses that you can find in the catalog. Then I'm using the Discover University wallpaper there for the bedrooms. And again, just that gray and white for the bathroom and the hallway. This is gonna change, but I was inspired by these items from Discover University to make it an Ikea house. So essentially, instead of using the traditional old school furniture, I'm imagining that the kids who moved in here, the first year students, they did a big shopping trip to Ikea, they bought all of their furniture, and it all matches perfectly. So the first student here is a soccer player. She's on the soccer team, and she likes the color pink and white, so she likes, likes a clean aesthetic. She wants to have everything all matchy-matchy. It's very cute. Her little side table matches her dresser and her desk and all that kind of stuff. Of course, we have to use the classic Kallax Ikea square bookshelf thing. It doesn't end up being in the living room, but we had to use it somewhere. I just gave that first roommate a laptop because I figure most students in their first year are just going to have a little laptop or maybe an iPad. As for the couch, my lore is that they couldn't decide on what color to have for the couch and they both argued on it and then eventually they landed on the furniture all being black and white in the living room and then their bedrooms are where all the color came in. I did choose a semi-colorful rug though and you'll see it's yellow like the second roommate. We haven't gone into their bedroom yet but that's gonna happen. Also, over here we have the heritage fireplace. I'm imagining that the locals told the new millennial homeowner, landlord person, you're not allowed to take out the old fireplace. So they just painted over it in white and a thick paint, gave it the old landlord special and said, fine, you get to keep your fireplace, but it's not usable anymore and it's white. <laughs> so that's what they did. In here, we've got our sort of programmer, gamer roommate who has a yellow aesthetic and I wanted them to have a nicer PC, a nicer desk setup, and also be on the research and debate team. Unfortunately, the research and debate skill item is enormous, so I couldn't actually fit it in the house, but I, I give a nod to it later on, you'll see. So again, just adding in some of this Ikea furniture. Luckily, a lot of these items actually match really well with the base game items. So you'll see that this little side table here, the white one matches with that white bookshelf really well. And it reminds me a lot of the Ikea stuff. Same thing with this wardrobe. And then the bathroom, again, got a bit of a modern revamp makeover. So it's just really clean black and white, 
It's got a nice modern sink and toilet and even a really plain sort of mirror there. And I couldn't really fit a shower in. I know that's probably gonna be annoying for gameplay, but I wanted to get the matching tub that goes with the sink there. So I chose that one instead. I also love that mirror that came with um, this pack because it's got all these little stickers on it. It's super cute. It's very, it's very young adult. Like I can imagine someone in first year university eating that up and just covering their mirror in cute little stickers and stuff. Like they haven't quite outgrown their high school phase. This is where I completely redid the dining room because I realized that I really, really wanted to include the juice pong table because that's just so university life. And I feel like that's hilarious. Like I want them to have so many parties here, do silly things, forget to study, have a, have a fun time. <laughs> So I then moved the island counters along the back wall instead with those little island chairs too to make room for this ping pong table. To bring in some more character elements of the old house, I brought in the columns that came with this pack, which are really beautifully detailed. And then I put a little spandrel across the top of them to separate out what the original living room and dining room would have been. Sometimes there's little lighting glitches. I left this part in to show you what I mean by that. I don't know what was happening there, but sometimes you just have to move where the column is and then put the spandrel in and it should fix it for you. Then I realized I forgot a sink in the kitchen. Don't, don't at me. <laughs> so I added a little corner cabinet there, extended the kitchen out a little bit and then added the sink. And of course, a university residence building is not complete without a microwave for every single microwave meal that you're gonna have and a coffee machine because you have to have coffee to function in university. It is an unfortunate reality. These pillows are actually the unlockable base game pillows from that one challenge in June or whatever. I hope that if you download this, they'll show up for you even if you didn't do the login rewards. I can't tell for sure, but hopefully they will because they should be unlockable in your game anyways. On the walls here, I'm adding a bit of personalization. So we're adding a bit of pink and yellow and also the soccer element to tie in both the roommates from upstairs as well to, as a heritage photo there of the old buildings. I think that might move later, but I think I keep it in the build. Also this little emblem thing that is like a plaque. If you size it down, to me, it looked like or reminded me of a classification for a heritage home. So a lot of heritage homes in my area actually have little plaques that say you're not allowed to change the home. This home was built in this year, etc. So that's what I imagine being on there. Just adding a few more details in here. We've, we've got the sport flag for the yellow roommate who also has then the research and debate flag up there. I, I imagine the yellow roommate to be a big supporter of the university, loves going to all the events and the games and everything, and loves to support them by buying all the merch. <laughs> Whereas this pink roommate, she's into it because, you know, she's part of the soccer team. But other than that, she kind of has her own thing going on. She's got a personality outside of that. She's vibing. So I gave her the little soccer lamp because I thought it'd be cute. Another good trick is that if you are getting sick of the catalog a little bit, if you sort by a specific color, you might unlock swatches that you've never seen before of items. I also go in and gave them some more little clutter items, like for that girl, I gave her the soccer team photo, which I hardly ever use because it's so specific, but I think it works really well with her little story. And then of course, some blinds for privacy. One thing I wish they would add to the game is blinds being half pulled up so that you could actually see outside still. I don't think they're gonna do that, but it'd be interesting to see. One thing I love that they added from the Discovery University pack was basically what I would consider to be pop figurines. Like those little guys are so cute and there's a lot of nods to old Sim stuff. Some other wall decorations, I included some balloons because I wanna imagine that these people are party people and that they host a lot of events. 
I also added a little pride flag in there. Here's where I add a shoe rack just to the entrance. The entryway is quite skinny, so I couldn't really put it right next to the door, unfortunately, because it's a too wide door, but I wanted it to still be in the entry hallway, and I think that's kind of fine. I would imagine that it's it would be sparse specifically because they're university students. Like, they don't have enough money to furnish everything perfectly, and I think that's a bit more realistic that way too. I, I did that on purpose. I also wanted to add these cute, adorable little plants. They're like succulents and I love them so much. I never get to use them though, cause they're just, I don't know. I feel like they're super specific, but I feel like a person who's in university is like moving out and it's like, well, I can't get a pet yet, but I can definitely get plants and be a plant mom or whatever. So that's what I imagine. I also added another flag for the university there in the, the hallway, just to add a little bit more raw, raw spirit, you know? I imagine Brightchester to be inspired by England and specifically Oxford University, I believe, but I know that it's very Americanized in terms of the items that we got in the pack. So it's a bit confusing about what the aesthetic should be. So I guess I'm imagining like maybe it could be Harvard or something like some old red brick style university or college that's in the States. Although I don't really know. I, I think it's just, I mean, it's the Sims, so it doesn't really matter, but I was trying to be influenced in the interior by an American Ikea university student because that's a little bit more similar to what I, my experience was, what I had when I was in university and in undergrad. Um, but the outside is definitely inspired by the red brick buildings, those duplexes or whatever from England. And I realized that I didn't have room for a juice keg because the footprint on that item is enormous. So I decided to make a back patio because I really wanted to include it. So I added a little back door. I made the eating area a bit smaller. It still should be totally fine though. I paved it with those sidewalk pavers. And then I closed it off using a fence there. I also had a few more items. You'll see in the tour, it's just like a bin and some other stuff. I think there's a grill back there too. So we're in the first person tour now. So I know that I said this was gonna be 100 tiles. It is. The actual livable area that I'm touring right now is exactly 100 tiles. So don't come for me, it's for my 100 subscribers. <laughs> but to make it more realistic, I made empty versions of the exact same house to the right. So I made two other buildings. They're just squares, they're just completely empty squares. If you have for rent, you could furnish them and then rent them out. Or if you have four rent, you can just make this the only livable space and then make the other spaces invisible to your Sims. But because I was pack restricting it, I didn't want to do that. Anyways, so here's the tour. We have the living room and the dining room and the kitchen here. And then we go into the backyard where we have the bin, the keg stand and the grill. It's a little bit squishy, but it should totally be usable. There's a little peek into the next door house as well. You can see it's just literally empty. Up here, we're just gonna go into the bathroom first. It's very simple, but I still feel like it's realistic. You got a couple candles in the bath there. You got your bath needs. It's It'll meet your needs, it's fine. It's a bathroom. Then you come into the first bedroom up here for the yellow roommate who has an affinity for research and debate and the pink roommate who's on the soccer team is a plant mom, has her little laptop, loves her sports and is overall really neat. So here's just some screenshots from the outside. So you can really see that this is like a set of row houses here. I put some debug planters and whatnot around the sides and everything. And in that back there, they have a couple other skill building items and that's just some overview. So again, thank you all so, so much. And I hope you subscribe and like the video if you liked it and you can check me out on Twitch. Bye.